Our top story tonight, a Chesapeake community wants to stop the violence in their neighborhood. There have been two shootings in, the last, in less than a month on Sunrise Avenue. Earlier this week, police say a person shot a man in the back. He's still in the hospital. Three weeks before that, someone shot and killed a 27-year-old man. Police are still looking for the shooters. 10 on your side's Brandy Cummings is in the area tonight. And Brandy, neighbors came out today for a rally against the violence? Yeah, and Deanna, organizers say the violence must stop. Earlier this afternoon, dozens of people marched in the area around Cuffey Community Center. Their message is to stop the violence by getting parents more involved in their children's lives. They're also promoting unity in the community. Four Chesapeake police officers were at the rally, one of them telling me they were here to support the message of stopping the violence. Organizers say they were inspired to have this march and rally in their community after participating in a walk in Norfolk's Berkeley community. Our march is based on any type of violence, and unfortunately guns was one of them that we pushed the hardest because just recently with three, four shootings back to back. Right. You know, people getting shot just randomly for no reason. So therefore, as an uh, advocate for our community, we decided to stand up. Now, this afternoon, there were families, mothers, fathers, children, all participating in this march. Now, coming up tonight after the game, you'll hear from a father whose son was shot and killed last year. I asked him why it was important for him to be at this rally today. You'll hear his answer coming up tonight. For now, live in Chesapeake, Brandy Cummings, 10 on your side.